Have you ever looked at a robot or a CGI character and felt a deep sense of unease? Not because it was scary, but because it was almost human, but not quite. That unsettling feeling has a name, the uncanny valley. Today, we're diving into one of the most fascinating phenomena at the intersection of psychology, science, and even the paranormal. By the end of this video, you'll understand why your brain reacts this way, where the term came from, and why this might be an evolutionary trait buried deep within us. I'm sure you've heard the news. The uncanny valley is a term used to describe the discomfort we feel when encountering something that looks almost human but is just slightly off. Think of hyper-realistic robots, CGI characters in movies, or even advanced animatronics. The closer they get to resembling humans, the more we're drawn to them, until they cross a certain threshold. Then, suddenly, they become creepy, unsettling, or even repulsive. I bet you didn't know that the uncanny valley taps into some of the most fundamental processes in our brain. We're hardwired to recognize and interpret human faces. In fact, studies show that the fusiform face area, a part of the brain dedicated to facial recognition, lights up when we see something that even vaguely resembles a human face. But when that face is almost perfect, yet subtly wrong, our brain goes into overdrive. Researchers like Carl McDorman and Hiroshi Ishiguro have spent years studying this phenomenon. McDorman's work suggests that the uncanny valley triggers a conflict in our brain. On one hand, we recognize the human-like qualities which draws us in, but on the other, we detect something unnatural, like stiff facial movements, glassy eyes, or uneven skin texture, which repels us. This cognitive dissonance creates a sense of unease, even fear. Think about it, when you see a robot or CGI character that's almost human, your brain is subconsciously analyzing every detail. Are the eyes blinking naturally? Is the skin reflecting light correctly? Are the facial expressions matching the emotions they're supposed to convey? When something is off, even slightly, it triggers an alarm in your brain. Psychologists call this perceptual mismatch. Our brains have a template for what a human should look and act like, and when something deviates from that template, it creates discomfort. This is why movies like The Polar Express or Cats can feel so unsettling. The characters are human-like, but their movements and expressions don't quite align with our expectations. But it's not just about appearance. Movement plays a huge role too. Humans have incredibly nuanced body language, subtle shifts in weight, micro-expressions and fluid gestures. When a robot or CGI character moves in a way that's too stiff or too smooth, it feels unnatural. This is why even the most advanced animatronics can still fall into the uncanny valley. Why do 90% of people find almost human robots creepy? So, what's the takeaway? The uncanny valley isn't just a quirk of modern technology, it's a reflection of how finely tuned our brains are to detect even the smallest deviations from what we consider normal. And this sensitivity isn't just limited to robots and CGI. It also plays a role in how we perceive the paranormal. Are you terrified of the unknown? Have you ever wondered why ghosts, zombies or doppelgangers are so terrifying? Many paranormal entities are described as almost human. Think of a ghost that looks like a person but floats unnaturally, or a zombie with human features but no soul. Sound familiar? Some researchers, like Dr. Christopher French, a psychologist specializing in paranormal beliefs, suggest that the uncanny valley might explain why we find these entities so frightening. They occupy that same unsettling space between human and non-human, triggering our brain's alarm systems. Take ghosts, for example. They often appear as human-like figures, but with features that are just slightly off, translucent skin, hollow eyes, or an unnatural way of moving. These subtle deviations from human norms trigger the same discomfort we feel with almost human robots. Zombies are another great example. They look like humans, but their rotting flesh, jerky movements, and lack of consciousness make them deeply unsettling. This is the uncanny valley in action. Our brains recognize the human form, but the deviations create a sense of dread. But it's not just about appearance. The uncanny valley also plays into our fear of the unknown. Paranormal entities often defy the laws of nature. Ghosts can walk through walls. Doppelgangers can mimic people perfectly, and zombies defy death itself. 
This combination of almost human appearance and unnatural behavior creates a perfect storm of fear. Interestingly, this might explain why some people are more prone to believing in the paranormal. Studies have shown that individuals who are more sensitive to the uncanny valley, those who are quicker to detect subtle anomalies, are also more likely to report paranormal experiences. It's as if their brains are wired to pick up on the almost human qualities of these entities, making them more susceptible to fear. I don't think people understand how deeply the uncanny valley is rooted in our psychology, so could it be that our fear of the paranormal is rooted in the same evolutionary mechanisms that make us wary of almost human robots? It's a chilling thought. Whether we're looking at a robot, a ghost or a zombie, our brains are hardwired to detect and react to anything that's almost human, but not quite. Why would our brains evolve to feel this way? The answer might lie in our ancient past. One theory is that the uncanny valley is a survival mechanism. In our early history, encountering something that looked almost human but wasn't could have been a matter of life and death. Think about it, a predator mimicking human behavior, a diseased person whose appearance was slightly off, or even a member of a rival tribe trying to deceive us. These scenarios would have posed serious threats and our brains evolved to detect them. Researchers like Thalia Wheatley and Christine Luser have explored this idea in depth. Their studies suggest that our brains are finely tuned to detect anomalies in human appearance and behavior. For example, Wheatley's research shows that we're particularly sensitive to facial expressions and movements that don't align with our expectations. This sensitivity would have helped our ancestors avoid potential threats like individuals with contagious diseases or deceptive predators. Consider this. In a time before modern medicine, detecting illness in others was crucial for survival. A person with a contagious disease might have subtle differences in their appearance. Pale skin, sunken eyes or sluggish movements. Our brains evolved to pick up on these cues, triggering a sense of unease or even disgust to keep us at a safe distance. This evolutionary trait isn't just limited to disease detection. It also applies to social interactions. Early humans lived in tight-knit groups and being able to trust others was essential for survival. Someone who looked or acted slightly off might have been a threat, a rival, a deceiver or even a supernatural entity in the eyes of our ancestors. The uncanny valley in this sense acted as an early warning system. But how does this apply to modern technology? After all, we're not exactly running into diseased individuals or deceptive predators on a daily basis. Well, our brains haven't caught up with the rapid advancements in robotics and AI. The same mechanisms that helped our ancestors survive are now being triggered by hyper-realistic robots and CGI characters. Take Sophia the robot, for example. She's designed to look and act like a human, but her slightly stiff movements and glassy eyes can make people uncomfortable. This is the uncanny valley in action, our ancient survival mechanisms kicking in even though there's no real threat. So what does this mean for the future? As technology continues to advance, we're creating more and more human-like machines. From AI assistants to virtual reality avatars, the line between human and artificial is blurring. Understanding the uncanny valley helps us design better technology tools that are helpful and relatable without triggering that deep-seated unease. Moreover, studying this phenomenon gives us insight into what makes us human. It reminds us that our brains are incredibly complex, capable of detecting even the smallest deviations from what we consider normal. And it raises important ethical questions. How human-like should we make our machines? At what point does the pursuit of realism cross into unsettling territory? These are questions we'll need to grapple with as technology continues to evolve. But one thing is clear, the uncanny valley isn't just a quirk of modern science. It's a testament to millions of years of evolution, hard at work to keep us safe. So why does the uncanny valley matter today? As technology advances, we're creating more and more human-like machines. From AI assistants to virtual reality avatars, the line between human and artificial is blurring. Understanding the uncanny valley helps us design better technology, tools that are helpful and relatable without triggering that deep-seated unease. 
Moreover, studying this phenomenon gives us insight into what makes us human. It reminds us that our brains are incredibly complex, capable of detecting even the smallest deviations from what we consider normal. The uncanny valley is more than just a creepy feeling. It's a window into our psychology, a bridge to the paranormal and a testament to our evolutionary history. Next time you feel that shiver down your spine when looking at a hyper-realistic robot or CGI character, remember it's not just you, it's millions of years of evolution hard at work. Let me know in the comments, what's the creepiest almost human thing you've ever seen? Also, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And as always, purge explorando infinitum, for in every question lies the spark of discovery.